Welcome back to Baking with Your Toddler. Today we're going to make... Amber? Large cake. Large cake. <laughs> okay, should we wash our hands? Yeah! All right, there you go. I need to put my sleeves up. I know, you know what? First, we're going to go ahead and we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So We've already went ahead and we sprayed and floured our putt pan. Dusted it with flour and then knocked the excess flour out. So next, we're going to go ahead and use either a white cake or a vanilla cake. And I think it has blue. Mm -hmm. I think it has strawberry cake. Do you think so? Yes, I do. You like strawberry cake? Let me get it open. Wait, I'll hold it for you, Grandma. Okay. Uh, you can get open. Hey, Grandma, I'll, hey, Grandma, I'll, I'll touch it. And I just... Are you evening it out? Here we go. Shake it so it all goes down away from the edge. You want to try cutting it open? Okay. And we got your special scissors. Watch you can use. There. Good job. Whoa. Now, we chose the next few recipes that we'll be doing over the next weeks or whatever. I'm going to pick a few easy ones because... I will do it like a... Right now, everybody's scheduled, everybody's working so much, and you know, if you've got a lot of children, you don't have a lot of time, you want something that's quick and easy. So, oops. <laughs> All right. So, what do we do next? Hey! Yogurt! <laughs> yogurt! But I like yogurt. You like yogurt too? Um, I think I have that one. I think I have that one. So basically, we're going to put in one cup of lime yogurt. Not that yogurt. Both of them. No. They smell like lime. Good. I don't like lime. You don't like lime? Lime's are yummy. They're sour. Not, not when they're in yogurt. They're pretty tasty. So it doesn't matter what brand lime yogurt you have. I don't like lime. You don't like lime? Have you tried lime? Have you tasted lime? You want to try a little taste? Yuck! <laughs> that looks yummy. Yes! Yucky. I, I don't like it. Alright, so we've got one cup. Alright. Me! You pour it in. I want to scrape it all out. Mmm. Grandma's gonna. Get the oil poured in here. It's kind of a heavy container for you. Grandma, yes, I got yogurt all mixed with flour. Oh, you're doing good. Should we pour this in so it makes it easier for you to stir? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna pour in half a cup of oil. I'll water. I'll have this now. Oops. Well, Grandma's gotta read it real quick. So, half a cup of oil and four eggs. Um, next one is... And it says, MJ needs to stir it. <gasps> what? I know, right? Uh, this is so hard mess. <laughs> but I'm not going to have bag of fruit and wood. The what? I need bag of fruit and wood. A bigger wooden spoon? Yeah. Well, why don't we get you busy? Cracking an egg. Woo! You like to crack eggs? Yeah. I thought you did. All right. Mm. Remember how to do it? Yeah. Remember how Auntie Judge Judy says, "Put your thumbs in and pull it apart, but over the bowl." <laughs> pull. Pull it apart like this. Pull. Good job. Mm 
And you're gonna hold the spoon and grab a squeeze. Oops. Yum. It is yum. Well, this is sour. Oh, I taste it. All right. <laughs> so you can either use a KitchenAid that has the guard to, if you're dealing with a young, young child. Mary here knows that we don't put our fingers near the, the beaters, huh? That we only touch at the top and on our handle, huh? All right, so you wanna go ahead? A little bit at a time. Oh, I can't see this. Why don't you just a little bit? Yeah, good job. So this is what it looks like after we went ahead and mixed it. You want to do it one minute on low and about two minutes on medium. You can do it a little longer, it's not going to hurt it. Then when we get it to this point, we've got our floured and oil pan. So we're going to pour it in. Okay, so here we have it. Now, if your child gets some on the edges, it's not the end of the world. But we'll go ahead and take this now that we've got it all set up, put it in the oven for 40 or 44 minutes right in there, and then we'll check it. Yeah! Now we're going to go ahead and do two cups of powdered sugar. Now we don't necessarily have to sift this, but sometimes even with the flour now that we get, it has lumps in it when it comes to you. So this just makes for a smoother glaze. And kids, quite frankly, love that part. Just gonna add some more. Woo. You know another way to do it? Huh? You can go like this. Tap, 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 tap. Dark. I should get flower. Yeah, you're doing a good job. It looks like it's snowing, doesn't it? Yeah, like so forever you get goodness. Oh my goodness. Nice. Smooth across. Good job. Now, how many is that? Four. One. This is a two. two. I'll go ahead and take three tablespoons of butter and microwave it till it melts, and then we'll add that to her two cups of powdered sugar. Okay, so we have our two cups of powdered sugar here, three tablespoons of butter. Are you gonna pour that in? Yeah. It's hot. It's not that hot, it's warm. Otherwise, Grandma couldn't touch it if it was hot. Good job. You want to hold the spoon on the next one? No, hold that. You, you want to squeeze, okay. Woo! Two tablespoons two. of milk. One, two, and then a pinch of salt. Do you want to do our pinch of salt? Yeah, I eat it. Now it says one pinch of salt. So if you have a little one doing it, their pinch will be a little off, so you want to do two if you've got a little one doing the pinches. Not really a spoon, huh, but it works. Oh, look at that. That looks yummy. Now this is not a frosting, but it's a glaze that'll go over your bundt cake once your bundt cake is cooled completely. Once we take it out of the oven, we'll let it cool in the pan for 15 minutes, and then we'll flip it out of the pan, and then let it continue cooling, and then we'll pour this over the top of it. Two, three. <gasps> Is it pretty? Yeah, I got tops. It. It's perky. It's perky. Just kind of drizzle it. You want some more? Give it a little more on your. Mm. Just drizzle it around. I would grudge it. <gasps> it's okay. It got a plate. The plate will catch it, hopefully. If not, Grandma will get a napkin. Don't drip. 
Okay, it can drip a little. Running is fine. It makes it look pretty. All right, there you go. What do you think? Is it pretty tasty? Not sure? Are you a not, not so much a lime cake person? Okay. Well, thank you for checking in with us, huh? Say bye. Bye. She's kind of bummed. <laughs> <laughs>